Okay, so, uh, it's a bit dark now because I haven't had much time to do this today, but I was talking to somebody called Illusion uh, last night, uh, and he suggested that um, the reaction was occurring between the bare base plates and the spark gap was completely unnecessary. It seemed reasonable to me, so I quickly knocked up this thing. And all that is is exactly the same structure, but instead of having the spark back gap coming off, we just got two bars there that are connected up. And sure enough, it works. Let's put a bit of water on there. And how about that? Now, I did tell you that was bright. Let's give that another go. <laughs> it's kind of cool because, like, in the dark, you really see how bright that is. Uh, and that is bright, but it seems that the spark gap is completely unnecessary and um, Illusion was saying that it's probably got to do with the surface area and that seemed really cool and the thinness of the um, the water and his thought and, and I kind of agree with it was that um, it was Because it was so thin it was forming HHO very very rapidly and burning it very rapidly too so that the thing was going across between the two electrodes, enough energy in there to burn the HHO, which was being formed rapidly because of the large surface area. So one more go with that. And it shows up really well in the night. Well, in the dusk, rather. How cool is that? Okay, so I'm going to keep working with that idea. And thank you for watching.